All right, we have with us this evening uh, Dubuque head coach Robbie Sieverding and uh, junior forward Andre Norris. Um, we'll just start out with a couple quick comments. Coach, uh, your thoughts on, on the game tonight? Uh, we'll give, give Illinois Westland credit. Obviously, they've been here before, and, and we got here a couple years ago, but they were the better team tonight. We, we couldn't get into a flow offensively. Uh, we played through some foul trouble. Um, and we just were not in sync offensively. The guys we had that were making some shots throughout the course of the year um, could not get going tonight. And then uh, we did a few things defensively that just kind of combated that. Uh, but, but Illinois Westland played better than us tonight. Uh, they were the better team, and uh, we'll move on from it and complete our season with a, a heck of a year. But tonight wasn't our night. Coach, how much do you think Andre's uh, picking up those two fouls uh, quickly? Can it, he contributed to the offense and how did it flow? Yeah, well, obviously him and, and Gage. We need him out there on the court. Gage played, Gage played 15 minutes and fouled out. Uh, that's not a good recipe for us. Andre got two fouls, and I couldn't really play him. Um, Gage picked up a third one in the, in, the, in the first half as well, if I remember right. We just... Those guys have been out there. We need some other guys to step up in those situations, but obviously it... it decreases our chances when those guys aren't out there. It's uh, the MVP of our league, and Andre's had better games, but he's been he's been a rock for us all year, so um, he certainly could could have played probably better than tonight. He'd tell you that too, but it was a combination of things, and the foul trouble didn't help. I'd be lying if uh, I said that that helped us in any way, uh, because that's a first-team all-league player, and uh, those guys are just been through it a little bit more, and, and uh, our offense kind of runs through those guys, so it was it was frustrating, but they have some size that they went to, and, and uh, a lot of charges tonight. They just, like I said, they played better than us. They, they deserve to win, and and uh, most cases, that's the team that deserves it. Usually, ends up coming ahead. So, wish I wanted to just ask you a little bit about the dilemma with the two big guys. They seem to go to them early, and then Dolan's knocking down five out of eight from three. Do you kind of just have to pick your poison in that case? And oh, a little bit, because we go we go a little bit smaller with with uh, Gage at the four, <laughs> and we can get away with it a little bit in our league. And I didn't know if they would start those two, and then I didn't know how they were going to go on the other end. And Andre's been shooting at mid-40s from the three-point line, and, and they're, he could shoot as many as he wanted to there, but they weren't going down uh, tonight and to start the game there. And then we got in foul trouble, and then the offensive flow and rhythm, we just we had none. Um, Jake Moles and Tanner Cook had some open threes in the first half, and they didn't knock them down. But those two bigs, they present some challenges, especially when we go with a little bit undersized uh, uh, four-man at times, too. And, we didn't do enough things on the other end to make them pay for having those two bigs out there, and that was a big, a big difference to the game. Um, Andre, did, were they doing anything in particular effectively defensively on you, or was it just, just an off night for you? Uh, I feel like uh, it was pretty much an off night. Uh, the, 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 those guys did play uh, well defense. I mean, uh, I wasn't uh, able to get in my rhythm, uh, get able to feel my shots. So uh, it was a part, partly their defensive uh, efforts and uh, me just not being able to get what I wanted. Andre, your coach, uh, either one. Obviously, when you get down double digits, uh, you only shoot 28%. It's hard to kind of make a run to kind of make them start thinking and maybe put some pressure on them. I'm assuming this is just one of your worst shooting nights of the season? Yeah, we've had a, we've had a couple, but this has got to be our, our our worst. And like I said, give, give credit to them. The big kids inside held their ground. Um, there was a lot of charges tonight, so you couldn't get to the rack much too, which kind of is another way to protect the paint there too. Um, we, we had, you know, we followed a three-point shooter because we have a breakdown. We, we gave up a three in transition, and Andre misses a dunk, and Tyler Ware misses two layups. Those are you know we can't miss those in the first half when we're when we're struggling so hard to score and and then we give up those opportunities and we had a, a, a dunk and a couple layups and then we follow a three-point shooter they just kind of they add up and they snowball and all of a sudden you're chasing points and that's really we've scored at second in our league but that's really not who we've been we didn't want to get in the track meet with with them um, especially if we got guys sitting on the bench that are normally out there but we, we were forced to kind of start chasing points and We'd get it to 12 or so in the second half. We just kept saying, let's get it to single digits, get it to nine or eight. And we just could never, uh, we could never get it to that point where it was a, a three to four possession game there, a two to three possession game there. So, uh, like I said, they were, they were a much better team than we were tonight on, on both ends. And, and give them credit. Uh, they, uh, they deserved it tonight. Anything, Anything else? <clears throat> 
All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Thanks, guys.